Alright, let's get started. Oh, I guess I should check Yoshi's house. Very good. Very good. Very good stuff. Oh my god, this is the first level of, um, of Return to Dinosaur Land. Uh, an SMW ROM hack that I actually really love. It's actually a really, really good one. There's our good friend Yoshi. Not at all unusual or strange in any way, just just normal Yoshi. Gilder? This would be a good Momam game. Yeah, I need to tell Pi about this. How are you doing today, Gilder? You been enjoying the snow? Um... This is a level from Jump. What? How the hell is this in the Chinese Super Mario World engine? What the fuck is going on here? Know that was a muncher. This is playing on console, too. I can't believe they've done this. Oh yeah, I forgot. The manual. Thank you for the reminder. Alright, let me pull up the manual. Chinese BK land. Instruction booklet contains spoilers. Wait, I don't want spoilers. No more manual. Okay, we can have some manual. We can have a little manual. This official seal is your assurance that 
blank has not reviewed this product and that it has not met our standards for excellence in workmanship, reliability, and entertainment value. Always look for the seal when buying games and accessories to ensure complete compatibility with your blank entertainment system. <laughs> Jesus. This is a high precision game pack. It should not be stored in places that your cat, seal, or ferret can reach. Never hit or throw it across the room. Do not shatter it into pieces. Avoid touching the connectors. Do not get them wet or dirty. Doing so may free your, uh, may damage the game pack and or control deck. Do not clean ever. Store the game pack in your offshore vault for protection when not in use. Always be sure to clean your connectors daily. Submerge them completely in a vat of ice water. It must be submerged completely, not partially, <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Many, many years after the events of Mario and Luigi's adventures in Dinosaur Land, a completely unrelated adventure took place in a world that looked sort of like Dinosaur Land, but not really. Our hero, BK, with some amount of A's, arrived home to his poorly drawn and pixelated house one evening after his daily run to find that his cat, Nibble, had, taken, had been taken. Since there was only one other person who lived nearby, Lemmy, BK knew that he had to be the culprit. BK grabbed his Super Mario fur suit, dashed out the door, and began, on, began his adventure to rescue his cat. Okay, I know most of this unless it's changed. Uh, this looks reasonable to me. The following pages contain spoilers. Each page will list the original game and creator of every level in the hack. Consider entering and or completing a level before moving to the next page. Okay. So the first one was Return to Dinosaur Land, Yoshi's Island 1 by Ragby. Yep. Called that one. This one is from Jump. Yep, Mankey Bridge from Jump. Author Morsel. Alright, and that's as far as we're allowed to make it right now. Oh, can I zoom in so you can read the description? I'm sorry I didn't zoom in. Yeah, I'll go back. Yeah, here we go. Sorry about that. So the first level was from Return to Dinosaur Land, yeah. Went through a complete classic SMW hacks and decided to do an early level from one of the most well-known easy vanilla hacks. If you've never played Return to Dinosaur Land, by the way, um, it's actually really, really good and worth playing. GPM's driveway. Didn't know until after making the hack that YYCHR was simple to use for NES games. So that's how far we're allowed to make it right now. We're going back. Oh no, I start and selected. I can't believe I've done this. Well, thank you for giving that sub to Amethyst Rocks. Uh, this this hack in, it intentionally has a um, infinite lives code built into it, so don't worry about the life counter. It's unimportant. I'm sorry, I just noticed. Does the name say Marek? <laughs> that's definitely a C. There's no doubt in my mind, at least, that that's a C. I'm sorry, Derek. 
There are no answers here. <laughs> no, that definitely is an M. That is time counter. Don't disparage Rezifos' good work. Rezzy's good work. With your with your mean words saying that he doesn't know the difference between H and M. I bet if you showed him the letter H and the letter M, I bet 50% chance he could identify which one was the H and which one was the M. <laughs> Ladders do look like H's. What the hell are you talking about? We need to get Oglib on this hack. He loved Mankey Bridge. As do most people who play Jump. Everyone loves Mankey Bridge. What am I talking about? Mean. Very mean. Unkind. Well, let me put it this way. If you showed a ladder to Rezzy that was shaped like an M, he would be able to recognize that that was not a very good ladder. And so I think he has a plan to be able to identify the difference between H's and M's. I trust him. Uh-huh. Okay. That's cool. Uh-huh. That's cool, too. Did we watch the game trailer before starting the game? I didn't stream it, but I've watched it. At least I think I have. I'm pretty sure I have. Well, that wouldn't be a very fair race, now would it, Gilder? I'm starting to think you're just trying to rack up some W's against me. What the heck, bud? You give me a five minute head start? <laughs> Very generous of you. Uh, not gonna get me twice. Wait, I'm not going down there. Okay, maybe I'll go down there. Oh, uh, which one? Death or Cress? Yeah, I, I took the big I took the big L on that one. tempted to check out whether or not there's anything good on Zelda Classic to stream sometime. Just sort of like a fun one-off thing, not not something I would do very often, but just, you know, find a few cool things and stream them. Uh, I played Zelda. I, I played a little bit of Zelda Outlands. I'm I'm not a big fan of Zelda One in general. Um, I I think it's a great game, not a game I want to play. Um, and I've uh, I played a little bit of Outlands. I thought it was really well done, but 
it's still ultimately Zelda 1, so... Penelope of Kalatia. This game... I'm, I'm actually surprised at how polished this was because when I knew Resi was making a hack for Chinese Super Mario World, I, my expectations were uh, admittedly very low. I figured it was more like the novelty of just making a hack. I didn't actually think the hack was going to be worth any, you know, any good. Not a criticism of Resi, I just didn't expect there to be really much you could do. We're gonna rack up those Fs, Pansy, I, I assure you. You know that there comes a certain point where the message is too long and, and Twitch won't send it. This is gonna continue and eventually Pansy's just gonna... We'll never hear from Pansy again, because... They'll be typing Fs in the chat, but too many. Yeah, I know he spent over a year on this. I'm, 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 I'm not saying my expectations were low for Resi. My expectations were low for this game. And I'm saying that this is way exceeding my expectations I had for this game. We did it. This would be fun to do a speedrun. I wouldn't want to try to super optimize it, but it'd be fun to do a speedrun. Oh, this is Kaizo 1. That's what this is. That's Kaizo 1, baby. Oh my god. Chuck, you feeling okay? <laughs> Chuck, my dude, calm down. Yeah, this is this is level one of Kaizo One. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> It seems like it's a collection of levels from other hacks so far. Um, or at least inspired by. Uh, I don't want to suggest that they're just blatant copies, but... I hit jump. This is tough. Okay, so since we're on to a new level, let's maybe take a look at it in the manual. 
So we're back to the manual. Level 3. Untitled Bad Level. From Kaizo 1. The original level was called Akihabara. This is the first level I made. Thought about removing it several times, but others convinced me to keep it in. Sorry, it's solely on them now. Just know that I spent a billion years adding the background. Okay. So unpredictable. He's a chuck and he's ready to fuck. Oh my god! Just went right in between them. I hit jump again. Oh god, I got I got antsy and I tried to like jump out of the way. <laughs> Should have just left it alone. Chuck is smarter than I am. I mean, that's that's really what I have to uh, have to deduce from this. Okay, so the low jump mechanic in Chinese Super Mario World not helpful for getting over the munchers. Fuck off, my man. How about that? How about that for a strategy? Just get out of here. Dropping all these points. Can you offer helpful hint in this trying time? All right, I'm predicting you're going to say stop dying. So go for it. Doing a big jumpo, okay. Dying is good, actually. You know what? Honestly, right now, I'm feeling that. I'm just thinking about my ancestors, who, I mean, sure, they didn't have the internet or medicine or health. 
Um, but you know what they did have is no way of playing this. Love the hack. The hack's lovely. I just, I'm remarking about Chinese Super Mario World. Well, I mean, you know, Liz, has it, have any of us ever beaten Kaizo 1-1, one, one, really? I mean, really, really gets to the heart of the nature of victory. Can any of us really win? I mean, we're sort of all struggling futilely against... I got nothing. I'm, I sort of lost my train of thought there as I died. I've never beaten the original Kaizos, no. But as I mentioned previously, I am considering um, instituting like a day of the week to play Mario games. So I'm thinking like Mario Mondays because it's alliterative. And that could mean all sorts of things, which is good for me because I kind of get bored when I'm tied into content I may, do may not want to play. So that could mean like Kaizo hacks, that could mean uh, SM64 fun hacks, it could mean SM64 rando, could mean all sorts of things, all sorts of good stuff. The fuck is this? Hmm, had to jump earlier. You could recommend some good hacks? Maybe, maybe. Right now, as far as SMW is concerned, the only thing I'm really interested in is doing some Kaizo hacks, but if you got some like, I don't know, we'll talk. You did, Liz? I may play it sometime. doing Chuck get out of here yeah I know that's kind of what I was thinking BK it's like I've seen the stuff you play what is your game plan man Have I played Mario's Catastrophe? Isn't that that puzzle hack? I haven't, but isn't that that puzzle hack? Have I ever played Mario's Missing? Yeah, I've played Mario's Missing. Get out of here, you dweeb! What the frick is with this guy? Get out of here! He's real, bringing a real negative energy that we do not need. Wait, what's going- No, no, no! Not like this! Um... That was not correct. That was incorrect. Gilder, your name's not Chuck. I know what your name is. We have the same name. Actually, no, you hold up to do spin jumps in uh, Chinese Super Mario World.
So in Chinese Super Mario World, this is your normal jump, and you can do a low jump like this, which is actually super versatile, and the spin jump. Span jump. Get out of here. Oh my god, I can't believe he got me. <laughs> that was a fucking death rattle if I've ever seen it. My man out here, he's like, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> Starting to root for Chuck now. <laughs> what reckless hate. <laughs> this is the third level. Get out of here, Chuck. Get out of here. Pansy, thank you for bits. Okay, low jumps work here. I'm I'm Big Mario. I'm ready to do I'm ready to do jumpu. I'm ready to do the big jampu. Never mind. Might be in trouble here, if I'm being honest. I was supposed to just run across that, I bet. <laughs> Pansy. I appreciate that you uh, changed your approach to a way that feeds me money. I'll accept. I accept the charges. I also appreciate, Pansy, that you realize that your original system of of giving the number of bits equal to the number of times that I died was just untenable in the long term. Oh my god, this Chuck has my fucking number! My chat is not supposed to be rooting for Chuck! What the fuck? Just stop! This is so good. This is actually a ton of fun. This would be suffering for a lot of people, but I really love Chinese Super Mario World, and this is just something else. Am I gonna speedrun this? Maybe. 
Yay, let's celebrate! 50 deaths! Oh my god. What if I just run straight across? Like, what if I don't give a fuck and I just run straight? I feel like that Chuck is at the right spot to bump me up. Oh, it actually counts as running to the side of him. I think his hitbox is too tall. Did it. Did it! Yeah, everyone go buy Gillette razors with the, uh, bits for- what is it? What is it? Uh, blades for bits promotional code to get, like, a hella deal on- on- Even if you throw away the razors, it's still a fucking deal. All right, so here's here's our next level. Let's take a look at the manual. I don't recognize it immediately. A regular fortress. This is Fortress of the Giant Monsters uh, from Chump. Okay, so I do know this one. The custom-made sideways spikes are perfect and there's nothing you can do to convince me to make better ones. <laughs> also, also, just imagine the yellow bricks are grass for me, okay? You got it. You got it, Rezzy. I got your back on this one. Huh. That didn't play out the way I wanted it to. If you buy $50 worth of product on um, on Gillette's website right now with that deal, you get $100 equivalency of bits. Great. That went exactly the way anyone would have expected it to go. There is currently a sale on money. Yeah, but you have to support Gillette, that's true. If you don't like Gillette, please do not spend your money just to get cheap bits. I can't help but thinking that they're operating at a loss for this though, right? So if you really dislike Gillette's, this might be your opportunity to really stick it to them. Mm-hmm, okay, cool. It's okay, I forgive you, Pansy. This level brought to you by Gillette. Look, there's a lot of subtext to what I'm talking about right now when it comes to that, that deal, but let me try to make it a little bit clearer. I'm gonna try to have a moment of honesty with y'all. Hey, y'all. This is Author Blues here. You're good, buddy. Uh, go give Gillette a little bit of money and give me a lot of money. Thanks. What's the plan here? Thank you. 
Look, I'm not new here, alright. I love the camera when you're trying to run to the left and how it, um, doesn't. And my game crashed. That does feel apropos. Fortunately, in Chinese Super Mario World, there's literally nothing to stop you from just walking to the next level. The game does not... This is not part of the hack. This is just the way Chinese Super Mario World works. Nope. Yep. Okay, so we made it to a new level, so it's time. Let's take a look at our manual. Oh, this is a Storks level? Jesus. Okay. Apparently a screenshot of this level spread through the community with no clear explanation of its origin. I found this amusing. No, there will not be a Chinese Storks. I respect D to the fork. Uh, why does there have to be even one Storks level? Oh, is that what happens? Okay. Has anyone speedrun this yet? I imagine the answer is yes. Whoops. Has Rezzy speedrun this? The more I play this, the more I'm just angry at Rezzy. It's like, what was he thinking? How dare he? Who does he think he is? So this is not based on Super Mario World, this is actually based on Chinese Super Mario World, which was a bootleg game that came out in like 1995, 1996, something like that. Um, but it was, it was, Chi it was Super Mario World, but for the Famicom. see my opening there. Yeah, it's Hummer Team who made it.
Uh, yeah, the levels have been borrowed. So, if I remember correctly, some time ago, BK had commissioned a level editor for Chinese Super Mario World, if I'm remembering right. And someone did step up and took the commission and made one. It wasn't super fully featured, but it was a good proof of concept, I guess. I really don't know how to die less here. Never mind, I figured it out. Oh no. I just realized what this is. Those blocks above and below will kill me. No, but D4 did make patches for this, right? Is it .NET? I'm sorry. I'll fix it. Alright, so we're looking at the next... Page of the manual. The next one is How Long Do Snails Sleep? Uh, which is based on a level called How Long Do Snails Sleep from Yump? Did I never play Yump? What is Yump? Development of this level originated when I tried to make the Urchin Auto Scroller from Hyper 6 and discovered they are broken as hell. The floor tile also slows you down and kills you if you jump. That's a good feature. A yump D make. Absolutely right. I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna put chat up here so I don't have to keep swapping these windows. That'll help me do this better. So the floor slows you down and kills you if you jump? That must be in another part. I think my favorite feature of Chinese Super Mario World has always been the fact that there is a point um, value. There's there's how many points you have in the HUD, but it's a meaningless number. It's just a meaningless number. Wait. Is this like running out the clock? Is that all this level is? Oh no. Wasn't I running faster at first? No? I wasn't? Rezzy needs to come in here right now and answer for this. Is Rezzy here? I'm 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 going to call him on Discord. offline. I can't call him. That background right there tricked me into thinking we were at the end. It looked like a goalpost to me initially.
How's everyone doing? I swear to God, if this level takes the entire 300 seconds, I'm going to be kind of unhappy. I'm starting to have serious concerns that Rezzy doesn't respect me as the player. Okay, I just looked at a spo at the manual and I realized that it gives one spoiler away and that's Mario's at the goal tape at 210 seconds. So the goal tape has to be coming up, right? I hated that the whole time. Nondescript apartment from Volpe's friend. I think someone asked me if there was going to be a cape level, so I played around with it and thought about what could work. It wasn't going to work one-to-one, -one, so I improvised using epic Chinese tech I found. Well, this is going to suck. For some reason, my stream crashed when I flipped back over. I don't know why. So I do know some tricks about flying in this game. Okay, clipped into the floor there. Well, that's not what I had anticipated, but that works. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Where am I trying to go? I think you die if you don't dismiss this cutscene right here. Flying in this game is really tough. So what does happen if I keep scrolling?
Alright. No, nah, that's clever as hell. I hate how hard it is to cape pump in this game because, um, like, there's really not a lot of rhyme or reason to when you get control back. Um, was I supposed to be able to do that? That didn't feel like the solution. That's okay. I don't need it to be the solution. It was my solution. This one's gonna do the same thing? Thought so. Up, down. So, I guess we're back to this. Staying in the past. Back to the future from Jump. As soon as I found a tile that quickly pushed Mario to the right, I started making this level. It was a perfect fit, and turned out just how I wanted it to. The amount of glitches present is hilarious to play with. I'll be the judge of that. But I'm sure he's right. Huh. I bet I can fly with this. Really tempted to put that cape on, you know what I mean? Picking up what I'm putting down. And that's how it turned out. So. Cool. Come on, push me through the wall. Oh, up and down. That's what the up and down at the beginning were for. I got it. not taking feedback at this time, but thanks for asking. <laughs> BK needs to put Resi in timeout. Hmm. 
Don't be hasty. If I'm that high up, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now. If if it, if I do that, problem. Problem. This is wild. This is wild and a little frustrating. But okay, it's still it's still like the fun kind of janky, you know? I think you just stop if you hold up. It's a strange but interesting mechanic. It's, this is really fun. Dumb as hell, but super fun. No, because Super Mario Maker is dumb as hell. I think I have the right idea. dead. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm dead. Okay. I think I, okay. I, I was testing something. I wanted to see whether or not if I hit up to stop myself and then let go of it and hit jump, if I got a spin jump still, but I don't, and that's perfect. I think, I think I've got the idea. I have no idea how many exits are in this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you aren't allowed to screenshot dumb faces of mine. I'm sorry. Super Slope Muncher made it in here? Fuck you, Eldad.
super Chinese slope muncher. There's like one, maybe two levels in the game with slopes as a tile option. I improvised for the rightward slope. It had to be done. A perfect fit, if you ask me. <laughs> I love how absolutely done with this shit Rezzy is in the, in the comments here. Sorry. This sucks very much. Gotta remember the whole day. Level 10, the unethical pool. Oh my god, this is from Jump. Yep, I recognize it. This level is a pain to get working as the timer platform just crashes the game when placed in certain initial coordinates. Yes! I love Chinese Super Mario World so much! Alright. Oh no, you oh my god, I really have to race it there. I wonder if the mushrooms bait and it actually makes it harder. Could just be a low jump. Where'd we go this time? I'm sure we just fall through the floor again there. I think that block is bait. I think I just want to jump straight up.
I think I was watching you play this the other day, Third Wall. Were you playing it a few days ago? I feel like I remember watching you play it. I'm gonna try skipping the mushroom this time. Mushroom feels like maybe bait. Yeah, I'm not making it. Not making it. Yeah, you seemed like it was agonizing. I think I remember watching you, and if I'm not mistaken, it was like at the end of your stream, and you're like, I'm just gonna try one more time. We're gonna get it this time. And then finally you're like, I can't do it anymore. I have to go, bye. Brick. Brick. I'm the hardest time right now. Why would he make the level hard, do you think? What was the point of that? Um, I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? A mess, I see. I was at the end. He's been rolling in the pixel pit. Yeah, Bash, you should play it. It's called Chinese Super Mario World. Well, it's called Super Mario World, but it was made by Hummer Team for the Famicom. You should play it. It's honestly an experience. All y'all, all y'all who have never played the original Chinese Super Mario World, you really should. It's something else entirely. It has to be played to be understood. Like, again, not a huge fan of patting myself on the back. It's not really in my nature. I'm much more the self-deprecating type. But you should know I'm making this look a lot easier than it is. I'm still not far off from being the world record holder for Chinese Super Mario World, just someone else grinded it for like months to beat my <laughs> casual three day time. Stop throwing shit at the wrong time that's inconvenient for me. Well, yeah, I guess it wasn't casual in the sense that I spent the whole time hating myself, but it was casual in the sense that I didn't have to grind for months to get that time. Nope, I've submitted it quite a few times to GDQ, and for whatever reason, they don't want to take it. What's with that, right? Awful block? I'm sorry, this goes in the Mario block or it goes nowhere. Nowhere it is. Well, I mean, 
And Titanic was ROM hacked using YYCHR by uh, Jeff XVX, who's a friend of mine. So he did that for me. It is uncensored. You get you get full on booby in that one. I'm pretty sure I hit the jump button. I don't know if there's any truth to it, but I had heard through the grapevine that, um, I guess they weren't aware of what was contained in the game, strangely. Um, I heard through the grapevine that I would have been in big trouble if I hadn't had that censored version, so. No problem, dude. It is Bash. If you hang out here long enough, you'll see literal celebrities in my chat. For instance, Liz Star's here right now. You may be familiar with her work on twitch.tv slash Listar. No, who the heck made those emotes? Hey y'all. If y'all want emotes for your channel, I don't know if Pansy is taking commissions at this time, but their work is incredible, so... You should be lining up around the door. Around the block. That's the... that's the... idiom. Lining up around the block. Julie Saint, where have you done uh, commentary? I don't watch a lot of Zelda One, so you'll you'll hopefully forgive me that I'm not familiar with you by name. The torque. <laughs> Pansy, are you taking commissions to hug your cat? Can I pay you money to go hug your cat? You will do that for free? You're gonna hug Hubris von Vestra? Did I say that right? I bet I didn't. I bet I fucked it up. Yeah, Chinese Super Mario World has wild physics. Um... Very little of it makes sense. Some of it is exactly backwards of what you would expect. Like, for instance, running up slopes is absurdly fast, and running down slopes is very slow, which honestly just feels like they made a little oopsie in the code. You know what I mean? Just a little oopsie, little oopsie whoopsie.
Here we go. Original hack from Jump called the Depraved Stronghold. The final level, I think, Bowser was even supposed to be here. A fact that forced me to create a secret shortcut to the end of the level because apparently you can't use a midway here. Try and find it. Nope, dead. Everyone here is just vibrating. Vibe check passed. Wonderful. That's that's the good stuff. Did I just run through the ground? That's cool. There's no reason that should be solid. Did you know where the shortcut is? Good job. You said, your baby. See in the corner, it's that X button. It skips through the whole game. Nice call. I'm playing on console right now. Never do a speedrun on an emulator. That's the rule. 
That's the rules set aside in the Bible for speedrunning. This is a castle, but it's not Roy's one. I could have saved it if it hadn't been for that stupid ass dry bones. What is the Thwomp hitbox? hard to like fix your movement because of how fast Mario is. I can load jump over there, but... <gasps> okay. Almost saved it. Yeah, I thought I was going to clutch that one out. Was very proud of me for a second there. Not gonna get me. Oh, man. Nope, Chinese BK land. Named after BK. Hey, Smite. Bubsy Killer? BK, if that's what BK stands for, you have to tell me. Legally. 
Smite, I can't believe you did that to Bubsy. I'm still mostly ironically mad at you. But maybe a little bit unironically, you know? Like maybe just a little bit. I shouldn't have spam jammed. Smite, I really want to... I, I, I had never really thought about doing it, though it's not all that surprising. But I really want to find some absurd Skyrim mods and, and play sometime. That sounded like a lot of fun. I didn't end up watching... Your, your, uh, Bubsy murdering stream, but... You put horns on the feet of every skeleton. Purchase La Mulana and La Mulana too. It's a bold choice you've made there. I gotta stop jumping early. I have time. Go the running running button, the, the button that does the running.
I know the forbidden tech. I'm not supposed to be alive right now. There's another. Palatable perturbation. Had the idea from this from the beginning. I asked over 10 NAS assembly coders if they would be able to assist me with what had to be done. Do the fourth was essential to making this hack possible. Objection. Thank you for the sub to learn. Appreciate your Twitch Prime sub. Palatable perturbation. Yep, here we go. This is the the jump hack where if you're in the water, your controls are reversed. Tasty Beard, thank you so much for the big ol' raid! Yeah, we're playing... Um... Chinese BK Land. And it's a hack of Chinese Super Mario World, and it's something. Objection! Hey, Demon, thank you so much for the tier one sub. It's a it's a ride, all right. When the ninjis jump, they're impossible to jump on. Like, if you don't wait for them to touch the ground again, just like, forget it. It's over. Hitboxes just kind of don't sometimes. Yep, that's exactly right. Oh my god. 
I, I, my brain could not work out how to do that. Just could not. A reminder that what's happening here is that when I'm when I'm in the water, my controls are reversed, and so I'm having to like switch my controls. I'm having to switch my controls as I jump out of the water. I can't I can't make the controls reverse correctly. It feels like it feels like the effect lasts for considerably after you're out of the water. I, I'm not sure I understand it entirely. Jump and jump half are both fantastic ROM ROM hacks. I loved them both very much. Jump Half was definitely the better of the two, though. so hard. Basically, Yami. I'm, I will never be free of this hell. Thank you. 
Suffering is how I would describe this. I'm suffering. I can't, I, my brain couldn't do the spin jump. Couldn't do a big old jampu. Why would you, what, what is there to fix about Chinese Super Mario World? It's a perfect game. Our team worked too hard on this game to disrespect it by saying that we know better than their vision. Actually, there's a really good um, Link to the Past. Um, Hyrule Magic supposedly not bad, I thought. Is Hyrule Magic bad? Well, compared to Lunar Magic, but that's not really fair. Lunar Magic is like above and beyond what what a lot of fan tools are capable of being. That's not fair. That's not fair.
Appreciate you having my back on this one, Smite. I really do. Uh, one of the levels in this hack was was um, a level from Kaizo 1. This is tough. Man, I thought I was just gonna roll through all these levels, but uh, this one is showing me I was wrong. I'm getting owned! I'm having a hard time controlling myself in water. Thank you. 
That was the meanest thing I've ever seen. I feel like I'm doing an okay job of getting the hang of it, but gosh, it's rough. What? Oh my god. Fuck, you're kidding me. Not really sure what I'm looking at here. Is that it? Chinese BK land. Made by Rezifos. Special thanks to... Myself. Oh, myself, 086, was the person who made... <laughs> that was the person who made the original... Original, uh, editor. D to the fourth. And... You, Mario. Sten and Kaizo Man. Featuring levels... Does originally by... Ragby. 
Pokyo. Daiso. Lazy. Two Takamoto. Link Dead X2. Ugh. Jolpen Gambler. Morcel. Overworld designed by. Dots are cool. You are. Player. <laughs> Dedicated to BK. Thank you for everything. E. E.